Okay, so we're gonna get into uh, our fixing of the clear coat. We're gonna fix those. Um, that one's gonna, I'm gonna do some clear coat on, I think, with flake. Uh, that, those two, I'm gonna just wet sand. I'm gonna do, try to do those. I'm gonna try and fix that one with some Bondo. Um, up here, I just have a few that I'm gonna do. This one I'm gonna do. That one I'm gonna do. I'm Most noticeable, we've got a little hole there. But you're definitely gonna do that with Bondo. And then, uh, this one, we're gonna try and do this, this corner. Bondo here, uh, maybe a little bit of Bondo there, and then wet sand, and then uh, right here, we're gonna put the, clear, uh, the flake and clear coat. Up, but here's all my stuff that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use several different kinds of sandpaper, so right there. Um, I'm gonna use a sanding block. There's my flake. The flake, the only flake I could find is a little bit smaller, but the color, I mean, if you match the color to the boat, I mean, it's pretty much perfect color. Right there, you can kind of really see it. Um, it's just the flake is a little smaller, so I'll keep you guys posted as I get the so repairs I'm done. Starting the process. So stay tuned. I'm just taping stuff off like that one. Uh, there's one down there that I'm taping off there. That one. My wife might talk to me now, but I'm taping that one off. No. Hey guys. So I'm taping that off. That's actually a, a scratch that I'm gonna bondo, and that's a little ding I'm gonna bondo. And then I go over here. These are the major ones. I'm gonna leave these till last, but I'm gonna bondo them tonight. So there's that one. I don't know if you can really see, but that's actually a hole right there that goes. So there's the in. area I'm doing. I'm using 600 grit just because I don't want to get too aggressive. Um, but I'm just getting in there and you can kind of see it gets nice and white. And you want to get all of those. Like I'm going to put Bondo in there. And there's another big scratch over here. Um, and then I'm going to fill that with Bondo. Um, and that, that's going to be my... So that's how I sanded it. Get all that numbness off of there. So we're gonna get all that dust off. And then we're gonna tape it off. Once it's dry, you can kind of see it come in there. So it's sanded, so it's not real smooth. Um, that's how the stuff's gonna get in there. And then I'm just gonna tape the area that I'm gonna bond on now, or that I'm gonna put the resin jelly in. Uh, I'm gonna tape this over here. And this is just gonna be where the Bondo is gonna be. It's like a skim coat of Bondo. And it doesn't even really need to be much. Because uh, there really isn't much to do. So once you have this taped off to your satisfaction, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you once it's taped off. She's taped off. Show ya. Okay, so she's taped off. Those are the two spots I'm doing. Uh, and uh, once I start putting the bondo on there, I'll get back into it. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing uh, when I'm mixing the bondo. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix my the resin that I'm gonna use. I don't know, I'm not gonna use too much, man. I, I don't think I'm gonna need a whole lot. Um, but I wanna mix enough uh, so that, I'm probably gonna use just about that much for, for all of them. Um, so I'm just putting that on there and then we're gonna add the cream hardener. We get your cream hardener. Uh, we put that in there and then we're gonna mix it all up. There's a little, Be that watery. We're gonna make, we're just mixing everything up here, making sure it's 
okay. Um, so I need to get that all mixed in there. And there's your cream hardener. Mix it all in and when you're satisfied, once it's mixed in, we'll go put it on the, the boat because you don't have a, a ton of time working time with this. Um, so it's going to be nice and hard. We've got everything taped off that we're going to do. Okay, well, we got it all mixed up. Now, let's go put it on the boat. Okay, so we're going to do one little tiny little spot right here. We're just gonna gonna put it on there like that. And we're gonna reshape it. It'll take a little doing, but we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a little spot down here. Fill this guy. And just get some hardener in there. Uh, maybe that. Okay. And we're gonna come over here and do these guys real quick. Um, this is just. I got a little. I got a little gouge right here that's you know I think it's it would be better if it was filled in and we got another little gouge right here oh it's already hardening so we're gonna have to work quick with this it's you know, it's hardening already so that's okay I just want to get that sucker filled in Wow, that kicked like immediately. But that's we got that in, so it's now hardening already, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in the other ones and then get back with you once we do that. I got pretty much all the spots I'm gonna fill in filled. Uh, there's one. This is all gonna come off actually. I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna sand that of course. So that's not gonna oh, it just popped off. Okay, well that one's probably just gonna get see once I take the tape off of these you'll see how they how they look um, this one's filled in that's that one and then this back here is filled in and you can kind of see that was a really pretty bad one right there and right there so once I get done and I get the tape off I'm gonna let this of kick and then uh, all right so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you on this one down here first when I'm when I start sanding I'm just gonna sand the area and I'm starting off with 320 grit I'm starting off with 320 grit sandpaper uh, and all we're doing is shaping this now so I'm gonna come down here and this one is right on the edge here and I'm gonna leave that tape on so I don't get, I don't want a big area. These are really small scratches. So I'm not gonna go too much. I don't wanna get too aggressive with it, but I want it to, you know, I wanna shape this to get it back. You know, you wanna get it back to the shape that the boat was. So, that's all I'm doing. I'm just shaping it, lightly sanding with 320, and that's taking it down really nice and easy. When I get this stuff all sanded, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and then I'll show you what it looks like when I take the tape off once it's all sanded and that's where I want it all to right. be. So there, Stay tuned. Um, there it is. Um, I sanded through a little bit over here, which is okay because I'm going to make an area there, um, make a bigger area. But now I'm going to jump up to 600 and just kind of lightly sand this whole thing to get it where I want it. Uh, you know, even with the, 
even with the boat. We don't want any That's going to be our general shaping. You can tell it's getting there. That's pretty much going to be about right, right there. Um, Right, now we're just going to clean that off. Clean that off and then see what that looks like. Okay, so there is that one. Pretty much done. Um, it, it's pretty even. Uh, it's going to be below the water line anyway. That's why I started with that one. Um, and then I'm going to sand the rest of these. And then I'll take a tour of what they look like okay, after so. I've sanded them. Ponder work is done. Now I'm gonna, that's the first one. That's my second one. That one didn't come out all that great. But it's better than what was there. I'm gonna shape it. I'm probably gonna shape that one a little bit more. It's definitely better than what was there. There was a big hole there. So I'm gonna shape that one a little bit more. Um, there's that one came out perfect. That little, you can't even feel it. And then, this one came out really good. You really can't even feel it or anything. It's perfect. And these two came back here. So we're done with the sanding now. Uh, there's those two. So we're done with the sanding. Um, so once we start putting the gel coat on, I'll show you how I mix up the gel coat. And uh, then we'll get some spray on here and we'll get some flake. And... Uh, yeah, I'll be back with you once we're done with that. So All right, stay tuned. see here, that's where I'm going to do the metal flake. The metal flake on this, once I rough this up, the only reason this is so big is I haven't roughed any of this up. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rough it up right in here, like right around this area, and then I'm going to tape this all off, and that's just going to be metal flake. Same thing over here with these two. I'm going to rough this area up a little bit more because it's going to be all... Uh, clear coat and then I'm gonna I'm gonna really tighten these down um, for where the metal flake goes and then you'll see over here I've got a couple that are the way I'm gonna do them so what I'm gonna do here is you can see so metal flakes gonna go in here and then I'm gonna back off and then rip this tape off after I get that in spray metal flake here and then take this off and then I'm gonna clear a bigger area um, and that's just so you don't sand through the repair area. Same thing down here. You can kind of see metal flake in here and in here. There's water coming out of that one. I don't know why. But anyway, so it's like there's metal flake in here, in here. And then I'm going to remove this tape and then I'm going to clear like this whole corner. And we'll see what happens. So... All right, well, once we get uh, to that process, I'll uh, be back right, and so I'm gonna stay go tuned. Over, uh, I'm going to go over my mixture uh, for my uh, clear coat. And I got my marine clear coat here. Um, I'm going to catalyze it with MEKP. Um, and then uh, the third coat and last, last coat is going to get this wax uh, I'm using just these pre-valve sprayers. I got this from uh, O'Reilly's Auto. Um, I saw a video uh, that looked really good with these on there. So um, they looked like they did a really good job. Um, so we're gonna use that. Uh, I'm gonna mix up. So I got my chart. And uh, it looks like for one ounce of clear coat, it's 0.59 cc's of MEKP. So you just use um, your 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 syringe here, and 0.59 is going to be like two cc's. So well, 0 0.5 0 0.5 would be like that. So I'm going to use a little extra just to, to harden it a little better. Um, and then that's my my flake that I'm going to use. 
and uh, so then I've got some acetone for cleaning uh, the tools and then I've got styrene that I'm going to thin the uh, Delco with just a little uh, little styrene. So I'm going to I'm going to get the mixture. I'm going to I'm going to mix this up. Uh, get it all. I'm going to do a 10% uh, thinning because that's all you really want to do. Uh, it doesn't have to be real thin. And then we'll show you how we uh, I'm going to show you how I spray this on the boat. Um, you know, once we're once we're to that point, I'll show you how you spray it, then put the flake on and get your coats on. Okay, Stay so tuned. you can see my mixture here. Um, this graduation right here was 30. Uh, so I had a little bit more, so I had about 40 uh, milliliters. So I thinned it 10% uh, with the styrene, and that's kind of what the mixture looks like. It thinned it out a little bit. Um, I'm going to use, so that the chart said for one ounce, 0.59 cc's of MEKP, I'm going to put double in because I use styrene to thin the gel coat. It increases the cure time. So once I put the MEKP in there, I, sh I should have about 25 minutes to 30 minutes that I could use this. Um, and uh, I'm going to do that, and then when, when I get to the to part, I, I'll show you when I put the clear on, and then I blow the flake, and then I'll show you as we keep going. So just stay Spray tuned, and uh, one little coat of clear on. And now I'm going to take my glitter, and I just use this. I use a, a, a piece of cardboard, and I spill the glitter into the cardboard. So you got your glitter in there. And I'm just going to blow it onto the clear coat that is going to cover that repair. And you'll see that repair disappear. So that's how it looks. And then it's disappeared. And then over there on that one. And then you just put one more coat on. There we go, and that's how you do it. And then we're gonna let that kind of cure, and we'll let that sit, and that's how you do them. So there you have it, and then I'm gonna get back once I start taking all this tape off and we actually get into the, the buffing and sanding, So, the, but that's how you, that's how you uh, do these small repairs. So there you can kind of see. Stay tuned. Let's see if I can get it really close. You can kind of see right there is where that repair is. The reason it looks darker then is because I sanded that area. You don't want that area clear, uh, shiny. I'm assuming that's so that, but you can kind of see where I did that one. And I think I'm gonna blend that edge. Well, my second coat, you'll see how much more. So my first coat was right here, and now my second coat's gonna go in here. And I think that's how I'm gonna blend. Uh, but I'm gonna put my second coat of, uh, clear coat on and then I'm going to put the third coat with the wax additive and uh, hopefully it'll be ready to buff. So stay tuned. All right, so we're going to come up to the last coat here. Um, I looked up what our uh, wax is. It's this stuff. This is the wax additive, wax solution. Um, you need the wax solution to further harden your last coat of gel coat. So um, I put the last coat on about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. So I'm gonna wait another 15, 20 minutes. Um, and I went and looked at what uh, the right ratio, and it's important you measure this all out, and that's, you know, you need one of those. You know, so you can uh, measure everything out. Um, but the right amount of wax for, I'm gonna use an ounce. I've been using an ounce of gel coat and then I thin it 10% with styrene. Um, and then I use, um, it was like 0.59 for MEKP. So I've been putting a little bit, I've been putting one in just for extra hardener. And then for this, it was for uh, one ounce, it was, um, it was point, it was 0.9 of a CC. So it was basically one CC for one ounce. Uh, of this so um, it was 0.94 so I'm probably gonna put two ounces of this or two cc's of this just to have extra um, and the wax solution you need in there because that's what hardens your final layer so you can uh, wax it so um, I put three coats on of regular and then I'm gonna put a fourth coat with the wax 
most people just put two coats and then the wax. Um, I just want a little bit of a buffer so when I'm sanding and blending it, um, it, it looks real nice. So um, I'll keep you posted and stay tuned. Oh, this, oh, that's picking it up. Okay, so you'll notice, even though I taped this off, it's just basically so I don't get glitter on the rub rail. Um, but you'll also notice the soft edge in there. You can kind of see it if you look in the light. There's gonna be a soft edge in there so that when I go to blend it, it'll make it easier to blend. So even though it's taped, you don't need that hard edge in there. Um, like up here, I'm gonna have it just because I've got my gold stripe right here. Um, and I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard edge right there, but it doesn't matter because I think I'm gonna be able to blend that and you're not really gonna notice it. Um, even here, even this littler spot, you can kind of see there's a soft edge in there. And uh, so you really don't have to get a nice hard edge in there. And in fact, you don't even want it. So um, that's how I'm doing okay, it. So well, I'm going to blend it that way. So, right, I mean, I put that wax solution in and I noticed when you mix the wax solution in there, it's like thicker and it goes on a lot smoother. I'm assuming that's because the wax solution, um, like it took up a lot of the, you can't even see where I did that. Well, you can a little bit like right there. Um, but that wax solution really made it clear and smooth. Um, you can see it kind of right there. So I'm going to take this tape off later. Um, and then I'll show you the buffing and, uh, the buffing process tomorrow. I'm going to wet, I'm going to wet sand it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so it should be uh, looking for, right, I'm going to show you what I do here. I'm going to show you the stuff I use, uh, to, to wet sand this, um, I'm using three or four different grits. I'm using just water with a couple drops of Dawn soap. And I'm using, I'm using three types of sandpaper. I'm using 2000 grit. That's my last. 600 grit is my first pass. So I make a pass with 600 grit. And then I make a pass with 1000 grit. So basically all I'm doing I'm putting some tape in there and start with your 600 grit and just start working. You're going to see a white milky. That's just the clear coat coming off. So we're basically, we're going to get all these hard edges. This was a hard one to do because it was, it was right on the, the edge here. So it was a, And you're going to sand those high spots. I put a lot of extra clear coat on so that I could sand them down and make them really even with the boat. So I'm sanding just those spots for now. I'm just trying, and you can see when the milky white gets right there, like you can see that. That's an edge. So you want to go over that until that's gone, until it just becomes smooth. And that's almost pretty smooth. And that's how you're going to get it to look good. That's how you're going to get it to blend in. Um, and then you're going to sand that, that where you did the repair. And just over that, that's why I put an extra coat on, because I wanted to have a little bit of an extra coat so I'll show you when I'm done what that looks like okay so now here's a pretty tight shot of it it's still looking this is just wet sanded so now I mean I still got a little bit of an edge here but I'm gonna compound it and show you guys how this comes out I'm using my orbital buffer on this and uh, you'll see how it comes out once it's buffed um, I'm just take my buffer and put the compound on and then go to town. So I'm just buffing it like I would normally uh, put a compound on now to try and shine it up. I'm just actually trying to see where I'm at. Um, my paper got a little wet, so it's okay to take it off. I mean, it's, I'm just trying to minimize the amount of minimize the amount of uh, you know buffing compound or whatever I get in there 
But these were two pretty good scratches. I mean, pretty good depth. They weren't scratches. They were in the... And you can't even really see them right now, which is a good thing. And I'm going back over this whole thing with a three-step process once I'm done. But wait till you see this. This is where I did all that new clear coat. I think this came out really nice. And that's just really quick with the orbital buffer. And then, so watch how this looks when I come off. When I undo this, and I'm gonna take this tape off so you guys can see this really good. I mean, look at that. That's pretty much, I mean, I can't even tell. Okay, so I started right there. Then this side, you can't even tell. Um, there was the repair there. And there was one right there. That was that big scratch right there. That was that big indentation. It was about that long. So that came out beautiful. So you can see that really came out. And one of the repairs is right there. So you can kind of see where that was. It's right there. And you can barely see that thing. So it came out really good. I mean, I, I, I'm really happy with that. So. Hopefully this video showed you a little bit on how to how to do this. Now you can still buff it, you can still do what you're gonna do, um, but man, that came out really, really good. So thanks for watching, sure and hope you learned something. I did. See you out there. Now we're gonna go over them. That one actually came out the worst out of all of them. I don't know why it came out so light. The other ones didn't come out that light. Uh, I don't know why that one did. It came out really light, um, although it looks really light in the camera there. And then this one came out really good. This was that big one in the, if we can get it out of light, there you go. So that one came out really good right there. Um, then here's the other one right here. Sometimes it takes a little doing to even find them. That was that other big one right there. Um, this right here was the two gouges. The one gouge was right there. And then the other gouge was right about there. Um, and by no means is this a do-all perfect repair but I mean that's the hole that was there so that came out really good now you can kind of see it just because the glitters a little bit but you can see man that thing came out really good you can barely see it and then this big one back here these are all the ones I did I made a few mistakes along the way um, I've got some gel coat peeling right there, I'm not sure why, but that's the repair. It came out pretty good. I mean, it's a reasonable facsimile. This one I'm gonna redo because there's some water seeping in there. Uh, so I'm gonna redo that one, but it, it all came out really good. So I'm gonna put the video together and um, you know get something up for you guys. So hopefully if you guys have a little bit of gel coating to do, you're not you know, not afraid to do it. All right, so uh, that was my that's my gel coat repair video. Um, you know, hopefully you guys learned how to you know learn how to do it. It's really not that hard. You know, if you mix the biggest thing that I learned with this is mixing the gel coat properly. You have to mix it right. Find your chart um, that has this cubic centimeters or milliliters or ounces, however you're going to do it. Make sure you mix the MEKP with the right amount of styrene only 10 percent styrene max um the first time i did it i did more than 10 percent, and it took like a week to get hard uh, when i did the gel coat on the boat i did 10 percent um, i put a little extra mekp in and uh within 20 minutes this stuff was pretty much set up uh what else um yeah, I mean, it, it overspray, be careful the overspray. I got too much overspray around, so it's just going to make my job harder uh, when I go to compound it. And, uh, you know, but, but other than that, it, it really was pretty easy. Uh, I actually got a lot of knowledge from Russell Marine Products. Uh, that guy that does those videos is great. I subscribe to his channel. Um, you know, he's got a lot of great videos on that channel. That's where I learned how to do this. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys can uh, do it yourself uh, if you have a, a snake on your boat and you don't want to take it in and have it done 
professionally you can you can really do really good the biggest thing too is I had too small a glitter I could not find the right size glitter um, but I used that moon dust Skeeter moon dust and it, it worked pretty good as you could see most of these you can't even see um, I would not do a big repair these are small repairs uh, biggest one was probably the size of a half dollar so um, yeah there you go man thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you out there